Hey, welcome back everybody. Another beautiful day we have here at Circle R Ranch. Sun is shining, blue sky. Thank you very much for joining us again on the horsemanship information with Spindle. And today, what we thought would be exciting would be to, uh, we have a number of our ponies and horses who are out today. And we're gonna look at the specific terminology and the names for the coloring of the horses. Uh, there's a wide range and they're beautiful animals to uh, take a look at that, the color of their body, uh, their markings, as in their face markings and leg markings. And uh, we thought we'd start off with a few of those things off the bat here today. So again, you met Patches last time, so wave hello to Patches. Patches is with us here and just reviewing how to go up to him. Remember, you're just looking at the horse. What's the body language telling you? And I'm going to say Patches looks very calm to me, very relaxed, um, almost even maybe somewhat kind of dozing asleep. Horses can actually fall asleep, have a little nap while standing up. Uh, don't we wish we could do that? But uh, you just want to be aware, let him know that I'm coming up to see him. So want to be sure he can see me, which I know he can. His eye, he's looking at me here and his ears, he can hear me. And it's a little warm out here today. So, I mean, there are a few flies are coming about, but we've actually even sprayed them with what we call sort of like a fly spray, like a fly wipe to hopefully keep the flies a little bit off of their body. So Patches, here I come, I'm coming up to say hello. And you know, you can really say anything <laughs> when you're coming up to uh, see your horse. It truly is more the tone of your voice, the, uh, the level that it's a nice calm, a low voice but you do you do want to talk to them and that's one of the lovely things about working another one of the lovely things about working around the animals is that you can talk to your horse and they like to hear you talk to them you can tell them a little story tell them what you've been doing they're awesome listeners you can tell them anything feels good feels good inside to talk to the horse and truly they enjoy and helps them too to be be calm and relaxed with a nice uh, calm tone of voice when you are working around them as well so Feel free to tell them any little story that you would like to. So their long hair on their neck is what we call is the mane. Because when we're talking about the colors, we are specifically truly looking at what is the color of their mane. What is the color of their body? So their body being their neck, their upper body here all the way along, and the color of their tail as well. And you'll notice that when I am even walking around, I'll add in that I'm really in standing kind of in this zone right here. This is a, the safety zone, the safest place to stand when you're just working around the horses, going forward and back. You do wanna be aware that you don't get your toes right underneath where their foot is. I really feel a horse will never sort of step on you on purpose, but if I got my toes under there and he lifted his foot up and down, it just might go down on my foot. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So again, just safety around the animals first, feet to the outside, and you're just watching them um, that you're, because their leg actually can't go like this, really. It's just the straight up and down. So you'll watch as I'm hopefully just staying in this nice safe zone as we are talking about all the different colors. So Patches is a great color, isn't he? You can see he's got the big blotches of the white, big blotches of the brown. Now he does have the white mane and the white tail. Now we call Patches a, a, a pinto color, pinto coloring pony. And you know, as I go through the colors here and the markings, there's many, many in the books, when you read on the colors of the horses and animals and markings, or you get into more detail and specific detail, um, there's sometimes a different wording used for different specific colors and uh, markings that are on the horse. So you may find that if you're doing some reading, uh, looking at the different books, because pretty well every horse book out there will tell you all about the coloring because they are, it really is neat to look at them up very closely of the color of the animal. So Patches, we're gonna say is uh, a pinto colored pony. So we're gonna come on over here to Bizu. Now, I know I, I would like to actually go to the other side of Bizu. I know that she can see me. I know that she can hear me very safe to go around to the other side of her. Just gonna keeping my one hand on here. I should go along behind her. And I'm gonna ask her just to move over a little bit here. So I just give a little bit of pressure on the side and I'm gonna say over. Horses can learn 
Very simple words, as in whoa, over, back, and this is how I'm gonna move her body and how they've been trained to respond. They feel a little pressure here and her body has uh, moved over for me. So looking at her uh, mane, I don't know mane is on the other side, but we're okay. Her, this is Bizu, and her mane is black. Let's look at her body. So we're looking at her neck. Her shoulder, remember, and then her side here, all the way down to her hind end, is that beautiful brown color. Black tail, black mane, and this color is a common one that you'll see out there with horses. It's called a bay, a bay-colored horse. So B-A-Y, the bay-colored horse. Um, often with the bay-colored horse, often I'll say, is that their lower leg is also dark. You can see there's black on the lower part of the leg is a common characteristic for a bay colored horse. Again, there's all sorts of ranges that you'll see out there. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of guesstimating, like we say with their coloring, because uh, it's not like we've taken a paintbrush and we painted them. You have to go along with what they um, are, are born with and what their coloring is. Now her face markings interesting here as well that we can see. Come on, this beauty. I'm just gonna gently bring your head over here. So you can see she has a really neat little stripe that goes down her face there. Now it's a very, if, if, if it's a very, very thin white line, it's actually called a stripe. A little wider is called a blaze. And she's probably almost sort of right in the middle, but we'll call Bizu has a blaze. She has a blaze um, that's on her, on her face there. Yeah, it's right in between. It could also be called a stripe. So markings are fun to learn about. Uh, they, sometimes we use them to identify ones that are very close in coloring. We look at the uh, face markings. We might look and see if there's any markings on their legs. Markings being any white markings um, that sort of correlate with the uh, actual parts of the horse. So um, these is one of our well, you, there's different degrees of bays too. So we could say like she's a, a, a light colored bay with those characteristics of the black mane and tail and black legs. So we've got Haley is here. Hello, Haley, coming over to see you. She knows we're here. Um, come here, girl. Yeah, and with her coloring, you see, let's look again. Her body is the brown color. Now her tail and her mane, which is on the other side, but is the same color of her tail there is brown. So it's the brown mane, the brown tail, brown body. So that's what we call is a chestnut, chestnut coloring. Now, if we look closer at her legs, we can see she does not have any markings on her, like there's no white markings on her legs or on the back, but on her one back left leg there. Now, it only kind of goes halfway up the leg. So again, these, this could be uh, either called a half stocking, but went above her hock there, which is the back part of her leg. It could be called a full stocking. You may also read that that, that can be called a sock as well. So you can see the white on, on their leg there is, what, is when you're looking closely to see what their leg markings are. So we're gonna go, and I'm gonna go just wider around Haley, it's always a decision where you, whether you go right tight behind them or you do just a nice wide berth around them. Either one really is fine. Letting them know that you're coming up to them, saying hello. And truly the horses have been listening to me this whole time. They, they know that I'm here. I can tell by the ears they know that I'm here as well as you can tell by their eyes that they can see me coming up to them. So uh, Jersey is a interesting color. White mane, we've got doo, 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 the white mane, white tail. I'm looking at her body. You could truly call that either a light brown or it's like a copper colored, uh, brown or copper coloring. And when you see a horse that looks like this, you would call them a palomino. Palomino, white mane and tail, copper colored body of all little degrees there as well. And now looking down on her legs for the leg markings. You can see now hers are down here, okay? So this part of the horse, 
is what we call is the pastern. So you could say that uh, on her front left that she is the leg marking that's called a pastern. It's this lower part in here. She really has that on the other side there. And her back legs there, her back left is more of that half stocking or a sock as, as you will see what they're called there. So that's neat because truly I think every horse is absolutely different on their markings. And we'll just get her just to move a little bit here so we can get her into the camera. There we go. Okay. So there's her face markings all the way down. So it's wider. We're going to call that a blaze. So she has a face marking of a blaze on her face. Good girl. Good girl. And again, I love it when you give them a scrub, give them a rub on their body here. Okay. So I'm going to move around behind her. Another safe way to move around. And we have Scoot. So Scooter, we want to get you right for the camera here. Gonna just move him over a little bit. And move his body this way. Over. Good boy. Over. Alrighty, how are we doing there? Is that seem okay? So look at this coloring here. Pretty neat. When you see a horse with spots on them and there's there are many different types of Appaloosas. Uh, Scoot, you could call him a blanket Appaloosa because he has the white on his hind end here, or his rump end, with the different spots that are on uh, the blanket there. So the blanket Appaloosa is the full name there. Characteristic of Appaloosas actually is a shorter, wispier tail. So you can see his tail is that, it's a little bit shorter. Um, compared to maybe some of the other ones that uh, I'm going to show here as well. Being a little longer, we go down. And when we look at his leg markings, you can see he does have uh, his four legs. does have leg markings there. They all are pretty well that sock or half stocking. Let's walk around to the other side of Scoot here. Again, letting him know that I'm coming around. I know he's still nice and calm and relaxed. And get around to the other side of them again. You're just, you know, as much as I, I have mentioned to be relaxed and using a nice uh, tone of voice, I also am sort of very aware, very mindful of what the horse is doing, whether he might lift his head up or his ears might change or something of that action uh, that is more than just the relaxed looking horse. So uh, you need to just be aware of, of the action of what's happening when you are moving around them. So uh, a couple of characteristics of the Appaloosa is even this short mane that Scoot has. You can see it's, it's just a short mane and because it's short, it tends to stick up like that. And that's how it just always is um, for Scoot being an Appaloosa compared to the other horses that we have been looking at. And um, Scoot does look pretty comfortable here. He's very relaxed, which is all good. Like really folks, like, I think he's like kind of having a little nap. He's dozing there, his eyes are closed. He's relaxed on the, uh, on the uh, railing here, which is all great. That means he's uh, confident, he's relaxed with all these actions going around. Him. And when you look closely at him as well, what's, you, oh, what you, what's unique about the Appaloosa? Look closely at his muzzle. The coloring there uh, is unique to him compared to the other ones. We can have a closer look up over there. And that's called the uh, modeling, that is the term for that coloring, because that's all the color that's uh, on his skin there. And even on his eyes, you can see his eyes are unique there as well for the Appaloosa being the the white or the modeling that goes around them there thank you very much Scooter okay so we're gonna walk on over here we've got another one here uh, another bay so I'm just gonna bring Jerry on over here so we can hopefully see him a bit more we'll back him up say back him up there we go and again, it's neat to look at the whole body. There we go. It's the brown that we were looking at with uh, Bizu. We have the black tail, black mane. So it also is called a, a bay colored horse. Now you can see Jerry's legs. 
There's a lot of white on his legs there. So he has four uh, really full stockings on his legs. You can see it goes right down from his knee down on, and it's half more than halfway down on his back there as well. So he can see the color of, of his legs of that. Now his face, there we go. We're looking at his face markings as well. Obviously you can see, so it's not that little thin stripe. It's not, it's even wider than um, the blaze. Now, again, he's sort of right in between. Um, he is what you could call as a white face. Often in the books, you'll see white face goes even uh, behind his eye there as well. Um, but because it's wider than a blaze, we go ahead and call it, say that Tad Jerry has a white face there too for his face markings. So there are a few of the horses that we have here uh, to look at the variety and differences of their colors. And again, I, I keep saying, but there's such a variety. It's not like we've painted the colors on there. So sometimes you're just using a bit of uh, your horse knowledge to give a good guesstimation of what you would like to call a specific horse sometimes. There are many, 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 many even other colors of horses that you will see. A lot of these ones, especially the chestnut and the bay, are very common colors that you'll see with horses. I see a few less in general of the Palominos, of the Appaloosas, and then little old patches there at the front there of being the, the Pinto as well. Oh yeah, hopefully. You've learned something today, everybody, about the horses and their markings and their colorings. And it's been really enjoyable for me to share this information with you. And we hope you can join us next time at Circle R for some more information about the horses here at the ranch. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great week. See ya.